All right, so we're gonna start with the first coat of paint. Always test it. Make sure the nozzle's spraying good. And just put on what's called a tack coat. first coat there all right so I'm looking at the Sun I want to make sure I get a good it's all about the reflection making sure it's good it's really really hard to see the white but looking to make sure Not quite as smooth as I would like, but like I said it's quite hot here right now. I think it's, it's kicking faster than I could, uh, than it can lay down. All right, so I'm ready to add the white. This is a semi-gloss that I'm going to be using on the tank helmet. So I've already done the primer, uh, just uh, painted the front shield and the uh, horn plate. So, I mean, I know the can is good, but I'm always wanting to do a little quick test. Now, because there's so many angles, I like to wear a sleeve so that I can actually start off by painting underneath and not spray paint my arm. Again, it's applying a tack coat, which is pretty much misting on the paint. And right now is when I want to try to reach all those Hard to reach undercut areas. Again, just kind of tacking it on. The tricky part is keeping your arm away from touching what you've already painted. So now I'm gonna lay it on a little bit thicker. Hope you guys see what I'm doing all right. So because it's hot here, I gotta work kind of quick, putting a nice good first coat on. All right, working from the bottom up. So that's the first coat. It's just kind of like a heavy tack coat. It's not a real beauty coat yet, but you want to make sure you're kind of avoiding orange, uh, not orange peel, sorry, think about back forming, uh, overspray. Uh, so you don't get that heavy texture. This again is supposed to be a nice, uh, pretty paint job on the tank helmet. So I like to put at least four coats. This is probably my third, I've kind of lost count. Um, so I think I want to do one more. Again, trying to avoid any overspray. I'm kind of lucky right now there's no wind so I can have much better control of the spray. Usually you want to do all this in the paint booth so you can avoid any dirt or wind, but I'm actually lucky right now the wind just stopped, so. Maybe you guys can see what I'm showing. I think that's pretty good. So I took one full can to do um, 
this helmet and the um, face shield and the horn plate. There you go. Rustelian times two. This is the semi gloss. So I'm going to let this sit out here for a minute. If the uh, wind starts to pick up, then I'm going to definitely take it inside. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully this kind of helps you guys when you go to paint your stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm uh, ready to. No, not primer. Wrong can. Of course, it's going to turn opposite. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know if you guys even saw that. I totally turned it, but it didn't turn. All right. Let's 